brought to you by Baby Lock for the love of sewing. Sulky Threads, express yourself with Sulky and create with confidence. Hi, welcome to Quiltmaker's Block Network. I'm Carolyn Bean with Quiltmaker Magazine. Today I'd like to share with you roundabout block number 60. This is a block that I designed for Quiltmaker's 100 Blocks Volume 1. So here's the patches that you need to make this block. This will be a 12 inch block when you finish sewing. You need, from your background fabric, there are squares and rectangles of three different sizes and lots of little one and a half inch squares. You can see the cutting dimensions for all of these patches right on your screen. Seam allowance is very important for this block. I'm going to show you a few different ways to check your seam allowance. One way is to sew some patches together and see how they measure. Now these little patches should finish at one inch. So we've sewn three together in this example here and laid a little measuring tape on top. You can see that it measures slightly more than an inch, which tells me that my seam allowance is a little bit less than a quarter inch. So when you lay that patch, patch that you're going to sew to next to those three patches, you'll see that it's just slightly shorter and it's not going to fit. The second sample here has a seam allowance that's a little bit too big. Your patch is measuring slightly less than an inch. Again, when you lay these three patches next to the patch it'll be sewn to, it doesn't quite measure up. This third example has a quarter inch seam that's just perfect. You can see that the one inch here is, fits right between the two seams and putting it next to the seam that the patch will be sewn to, it lines up perfectly. So this is one way you can check your seam allowance by actually sewing some of the patches. I'll show you another way you can do this right on your sewing machine. If your sewing machine does not have a feature where you can set an accurate quarter inch seam allowance like this Baby Lock Melody does, you can also use a ruler to find your quarter inch. So what I'm going to do is line my ruler up and drop the needle just gently onto the quarter inch mark on my ruler. And this edge right along here is exactly a quarter inch from the needle. Now, to set up a guide, you can also lay some masking tape or something there to help you. This block is sewn in sections. Once you have your pieces all cut out, you're going to arrange them in a section just like this. You'll make two identical sections like this and two identical sections like this. To sew your sections together, you'll start by sewing the four patch in the middle, adding patches top and bottom to the sides, and then you'll sew four patches together and add them to either side, and six patches to the top and the bottom. Make two identical sections like this. For the second section, you're going to start with a square in the middle, sew these two patches together on either side, join them to the middle, and sew four patches together, join them to the top and bottom, add your side seams and your top and bottom seams. And once you have all four sections sewn, you'll sew them together to make your finished 12 inch block. Let's look at some quilt designs using this block. This first layout shows a three by three block layout. It almost has a 3D effect. Let's look at what happens when the values are reversed. In this block, the light print is replaced with a dark brown solid and the dark patches are various lights. Here's a quilt design using this new block. The dark brown patches really pop out. This next block shows the small patches gradating in color from white to black with solid teal. Here's a quilt design using this block. The dark patches form diagonal lines across the quilt while the light patches seem to float. You can find Roundabout and 99 other amazing 12-inch blocks in Quiltmaker's 100 Blocks Volume 1. Thanks for joining me. I hope to see you again next time on Quiltmaker's Block Network. Then you're going to take a scissors and a sharp, small, pointed scissors. Works <laughs> 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 okay, these are the scissors that Eileen brought for me, so... <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, I hope to see you next time. Let's, let's, let's do